hospital in Delaware County not playing ball when it comes to paying taxes. That according to elected officials there. Now residents in Ridley Township may be stuck with footing the bill. Action News reporter Becca Hendrickson now to explain. Every single person who owns property in Ridley Park is going to feel the impact of this. Council says it's short, nearly half a million dollars because the owner of this hospital won't pay their taxes and the borough needs to make that money back. We've sent late notices. We've reached out uh, through our attorneys. We're not getting much of a response. Ridley Park says it's out of options after its largest business in the borough is refusing to pay taxes. The impact is a minimum of 17% tax increase is what we're looking at right now. That will be imposed on all property owners. The borough says Prospect Medical Holdings, which owns Taylor Hospital, owes $487,000 in taxes, roughly 10% of the borough's $5 million budget. The company has not responded to our request for comment. We have one way to bring in tax revenue, and that is through a property tax, and we have to pass a balanced budget. That's our obligation. It will average out to about $400 extra per homeowner per year. Is a lot, you know, especially for people like myself who live paycheck to paycheck. For business owners, the cost will be even steeper. We're already on our knees from COVID as it is, so anything like this is just an, another kick to us. The owner of Dolan's Bar says it will be thousands of dollars extra for him, but he doesn't blame the borough. He blames the hospital owners. It's even worse news when it's somebody who's refusing to pay, especially a corporation that's not from this area. Um, we're stuck holding the bag, and uh, it's probably going to force a couple people out of their homes, I would imagine. Next door, the owner of Lux and Rose's hair salon says the tax increase may put her out of business. I'm usually a big supporter of Taylor because it's local and it's easy, but if they're not doing what they're supposed to do, it's backfiring on me. The borough says it expects to vote on the tax increase at its regular meeting next Tuesday night. In Ridley Park, I'm Becca Hendrickson for Action News at 10 on PHL 17.